Exposition by Charles Hedden Spurgeon Isaiah 43, 14-28, 44, 1-8 Isaiah 43, 14, 16 Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I have sent to Babylon, and have brought down all their nobles, and the Chaldeans, whose cry is in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, which makes a way in the sea, and a path in the mighty water. Great events in history all have some connection with the Church of Christ. We may not always be able to see it, but we may rest assured that it is so. The rise and fall of empires have a great deal to do with the chosen people of God. So here he reminds them of what he did in the ancient days when he smote Egypt at the Red Sea and made a path for his people through the mighty waters. 17, which brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise, they are extinct, they are quenched as flax. There is a little blaze and a little smoke and then all is over with the flax. So shall it be with those who set themselves up against the Lord, he shall confound their wisdom and humble their pride. 18. 19. Remember you not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold I will do a new thing. What God has done once, he can do again, but he can also make yet grander and more marvelous displays of his power and grace than he has ever yet given. 19. 20. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert the beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give water in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen. If then, O child of God, you are in sore distress, if all around you is comfortless as a howling wilderness, yet do not despair. God can make a way for you even there, and can supply your needs. He can open up a way in the wilderness and rivers in the midst of the desert. Joy and rejoicing may come to you even in the depths of your distress. 21. This people have I formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. He will not be disappointed in his people. He made them that he might get glory out of them and he will surely have it, none shall be able to prevent it. 22-24 But you have not called upon me, O Jacob, but you have been weary of me, O Israel you have not brought me the small cattle of your burnt offerings, neither have you honored me with your sacrifices. I have not caused you to serve with an offering, nor wearied you with incense. You have brought me no sweet cane with money, neither have you filled me with the fat of your sacrifices, but you have made me to serve with your sins, you have wearied me with your iniquities. Remember that this is the wearied Lord who is speaking, the Lord whose patience seems to be well near exhausted by the provocations of his people, yet how wonderful is his message to them. 25, 26. I, even I, am he that blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together, declare you, that you may be justified. Apostrophe if you have anything to say in your own defense, out with it. Come to me and let the cause of this quarrel be removed. Let me hear your plea if you have. 1. 27, 28. Your first father has sinned, 
and your teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse, and Israel to reproaches. God justifies himself for his heavy strokes upon Israel, he tells them that the reason lay in their own sin. Isaiah 44, 1-3 Yet now hear, O Jacob my servant and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord, that made you, and formed you from the womb, which will help you. Fear not O Jacob, my servant, and you, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground, I will pour my spirit upon your seed, and my blessing upon your offspring. Think not that I am anxious to punish you for your sin. Only return to me, and I will be delighted to bless you. I will help you out of your troubles. I will supply your needs and not only so, but I will bless your children, generation after generation. 4, 5. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and, surname himself by the name of Israel. God still has power over human hearts, he can bring back to himself his wandering children. 6. Thus says the Lord the King of Israel, and his Redeemer the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. He gathered up all into himself as he is the first and the last, where is the space for any other God? He, therefore, would have all our hearts. He would have us love, adore and serve him and him alone. 7. And who can proclaim as I do? Then let him declare it and set it in order for me. Since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming, and shall come, let them show these to them. If these idols are gods, let them prophesy and tell what is to happen in the future. But they cannot even speak to one another. 8. Fear you not, neither be afraid, have not I told you from that time, and have declared it? You are even my witnesses, is there a God beside me? Indeed, there is no other God, I know not any.